little something like this. Come on. Good afternoon, Kenny Dragons. I'm Mr. Butcher. I'm Mr. Newport. And this is the afternoon announcements. Announcements, lots to talk about today, so we're going to get into it. Okay. Tomorrow, breakfast, bacon and egg pizza. Yum. Pizza. Lunch. Steak and cheese flatbread, which is just a fancy name for pizza. So we're having pizza for breakfast and pizza for lunch. Yes. But instead of bacon on our pizza, we're going to have steak. Steak from Longhorns. It's not going to be from Longhorns. I would, it'd be a giant T-bone. It'd be great. It's a T-bone. Steak and cheese flatbread, crinkle cut fries, veggie cup, and hey, look! Strawberry. Strawberries. Harvest. Harvest of the month. Don't yeah. be, don't be uh, caught off guard if for some reason you go in there and your strawberries look like cantaloupe. Oh, I was gonna say kale, but <laughs> <laughs> it looks like kale. It might be in there too. Um, strawberries, oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> a mound of mush broccoli. What I got today, it was wonderful though. Sure, it was made with love. All right, uh, classes that kept all four of their points today. Kindergarten, Miss Alexa, Miss Caldwell, Miss Barrera, Miss Goodman, Miss Halsey, Miss Johnson, and Miss Roberry. Yes. Yeah. In first grade, Miss Holman, Peterson, Stevens, and Wallace. Second grade, Miss Bassett, Miss Chandler, Miss Coyle, Miss Holder, and Miss Kinney. Miss Holder, congratulations. You guys have haven't gotten it in a while, but you got it today. So That's good awesome. job. We're really proud of you. Third grade, Miss Trillo, Escover, Piner, and Skelly. And Steve. Sorry, I left that out. Right. Thank you. Fourth grade. Everybody. That's right. And then fifth grade, everyone as well. I don't know how that's happening. And Miss Graham. And Miss Graham. All right. So the classes that are still in the running, they have kept all four of their stars every single day. In kindergarten, it's Miss Boletska and Miss Caldwell. In second grade, it's Miss Chandler, Miss Coyle, and Miss Kinney. And in third grade, Chirillo, Escover, Piner, and Skelly. Wait, third, third grade. Knocking it out. In fourth grade, Miss Ham and Mr. McCoy. And then also Miss uh, Graham. So those are the classes in the running. We still owe two classes. We do. Something Mr. McCoy and who was one last week? Someone. We Someone. And we will be in there tomorrow. We're going to do a um, minute, oh, minute uh, to win. Coyle. It. Yes, Miss Coyle. Coyle. We're going to be doing some kind of minute to win it games with you guys. So we'll be in there tomorrow. We promise. Unless we don't show up and then we'll change our promise to another day. <laughs> but we promise we'll try as if hard as we can. If there's strawberries for lunch, we <laughs> might be in there tomorrow. That's right. We'll see. Yep. And if there's strawberries that look like cantaloupe or kale, there's a good chance we'll be in there tomorrow. Yeah. Class with perfect attendance. Pre-K, Miss Power. Kindergarten, Miss Goodman and Miss Holsey. First grade, Miss Simpson. Second grade, Miss Bassett, Miss Kinney. Third grade, Miss Trillo and Miss Skelly. Fourth grade, Miss Ballard, Miss Ham, Miss Lang and Mr. McCoy. Fifth grade, Miss Hickson. And then also Miss Corley and Miss Haney had Great perfect job, attendance. Man. Congratulations to this class of perfect attendance. All right, so uh, Mr. Newbert, walking down the hall. When we're walking down the hall, especially as a class, yes. whether you're in pre-K or you're in fifth grade, um, we should be, we don't, when we walk down the hall, we should still be ready, respectful, yeah. responsive, right? Right. Okay. So a ready class in the hall will be in the right place, which is on the right, right side, side, at the right time when they're with their when class and with yeah. the right stuff. If they're going to lunch, lunch, yeah. they're going to outside, they're outside right. stuff. Um, if they're going to be respectful, they're going to treat other classes the way that you want to be treated. So, do you think if the classes are walking down the hall, you think it's respectful to those classes that are trying to teach if they're like, woo, talking loud and touching Probably everything? not, because if I was in class, I'd be looking right. and that would distract me from what I'm doing. And yeah. So, we really need to, there. yeah, we really need to work on that. There's a lot of classes, um, we're starting to see it. Teachers, you are leading that, so you're kind of in charge of that. Make sure that happens. Make sure they're on the right side of the hall. That would go back to being uh, ready, being in the right place. Um, and make sure they're in a single file line. And make sure it's no talking in the hall. When you guys walk down those halls, every other class they're trying to teach. And you don't want them, you don't want it to be loud for them. So be respectful in the hallway. So please work on that for us. Yep. I've also seen a lot of little trash in the hallways lately. Yeah. You know, we have custodians here, but they're not here to pick up after you, just like in the lunchroom. So if right. you drop something, just 
pick it up. Pick it up. Throw and, it away. And, and, and Even if, if it's walk- not yours. Yeah, exactly. It, if you're walking down the hall, you see some trash, just pick it up. That's, yeah. that'll, that'll work. All right. Uh, today is Thursday, so they do this thing called Throwback Thursdays. Ooh. So we have a new thing. What we're going to do on Thursday is we're going to do a throwback karaoke. Throwback karaoke? Yeah, so we're going throwback to How the... How far back? Well, this is the 90s. Okay. We're going to do a 90s boy band. So we have some <laughs> uh, some boys in uh, Mr. McCoy's class. Nice. They have karaoke and they have Backstreet Boys. I want it that way. Backstreet Boys. So here, enjoy nice. Kennedy's Throwback Thursday karaoke. What'd you think? That was awesome. It was, Great job, guys. It was. It was a wonderful effort. Um, it took me back it took, to, to the 90s. Yeah, I know. I had I wanted to take like my was, jeans. Like and, I was watching the next street boys. Which I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. You're supposed to. I was <laughs> not a Backstreet Boys fan. It's 98 years. <laughs> I was a new edition fan. Actually, so. I was Boys to Men. Boys, boys to Men was my Yeah, yeah that's a good one. All right. So thank you guys for trying that. It's now time. Uh, we are going to get some more Throwback Thursdays. Um, we're going with some ladies next time, so like gir- some girl bands, like like you know. Beyonce. That's not really a Throwback. No, thing. but what was that? Destiny's Child. Destiny's Child. Yeah. TLC. TLC. Don't yes. go chasing waterfalls. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. Do you know that they came to my college and put on a concert there? Did they really? Yeah, they did. And then they pointed out into the stand. I swear they were talking to me, trying to get me to come up there. Up. I was like, no, I'm not going up there because you know I didn't want to show them up with my dance That's moves. true. Yeah. That's true. Um, so we'll be looking for some girls to do that uh, uh, next week. So we'll keep coming with that. All right. Now time for our good news call of the day. Our good news call of the day comes from Miss Ballard's homeroom, and it is Miss Kate Hayes. Kate was chosen as the good news call of the day because of the heart that she had for a friend of Miss Ballard who brought in stuff for their class. Miss Kate was so um, impressed and so touched by the generosity of Miss Ballard's friend that who brought in bracelets for everyone in her class, that she organized a way for everyone in her class to sign a thank you card and get it to her. Great job for showing kindness for other people, Kate Hayes. And that was our good news call of the day, and that brings us to the end of our announcement. So uh, thank you guys for uh, helping us keep you safe by being a ready, respectful, and responsible leader who's focused on graduating the year. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible leader focused on graduating, you are boldly committed to student success. Bus riders, please come straight down when Listen, your bus is called. Yes. Your bus. Thank Every, you. The last two days, we've had people no. that almost got left. And, and, yeah, almost, which is a good thing, because if you miss, miss your bus, you bring us donuts. I don't think we did. No. I think we had somebody miss the bus, but they didn't bring us donuts. Yeah, whatever. 
<laughs> we have to hunt them down. I don't be able to get my donuts. That's right. We need our donuts. Right. All right, you guys have a great night. We love you very much. Bye-bye.